need to set up separate DHCP servers for different networks on your Microtik router? Whether you're segmenting departments, guest Wi-Fi, or VLANs, this guide will show you how to configure multiple DHCP servers step by step. Let's get started. Here is the network diagram we're going to configure in Microtik router. Ethernet 1 connected to Internet. Ethernet 2 and Wi-Fi 1 network will be 192.168.88.1 Any device connected to Ethernet will get IP address from 192.168.88.1 series. Ethernet 3 and Wi-Fi 2 Network will be 172.16.0.1 Any device connected to Ethernet 3 will get IP address 172.16.0.1 series. Now let's start configurations. Step 1. Connection and Login Microtik Router Connect Internet Cable to Ethernet 1 and connect your PC or laptop for Microtik Ethernet Port 2. Configure Ethernet 1 for Internet. Open Winbox and Login Microtik Router. For first time configuration remove all default configuration and login Microtik again. Step 2. Configure Ethernet 1 for Internet. Go to IP address option from main menu. Press plus button to add IP address and provide your internet IP address. Select interface Ethernet 1 and apply OK. Enable NAT option from firewall settings. Go to IP then firewall. Navigate to NAT tab. Press plus button. Go to action tab and select masquerade and apply OK to save settings. Now, add default gateway. You can add default gateway using terminal or using root option for main menu. Using terminal, use command, IP root add gateway equals and type your gateway and press enter key. After default gateway, now add DNS server. Go to IP then DNS option and add primary and secondary DNS server for your internet and press apply and OK button. To confirm internet settings configured properly, open terminal and ping google.com or any other IP address. Great internet working. Now let's follow steps for further configurations. Now add bridge and add interface to bridge. Go to bridge tab for main menu. Press plus button and to bridge for network 1 and network 2. For easy identifications, you can give bridge name to Network 1 and Network 2. After bridge now, go to Ports tab and add interface Ethernet 2 and WLAN 1 in Network 1. Add interface Ethernet 3 and WLAN 2 in Network 2. To add multiple Wi-Fi name, you can go to Wi-Fi and add virtual Wi-Fi. After adding interfaces to bridge now, add IP address for network 1 and network 2. Go to IP and then address option main menu. Press add button choose interface network 1 and give IP address 192.168.88.1 and apply OK. Press add button again and choose interface network 2 and give IP address 172.16.0.1 and apply OK. After IP address configurations, now add DHCP server for Network 1 and Network 2. Go to IP and then DHCP server options. Click DHCP tab and then press DHCP setup button. Now select DHCP server interface Network 1 and press next next button to finish setup wizard. Press DHCP setup button again. Now select DHCP Server Interface Network 2 and press Next Next button to finish setup wizard. DHCP Server configured successfully for Network 1 and Network 2. Now test Network 1 and Network 2. Hey I have connected Wi-Fi 1 to Ethernet 2 and Wi-Fi 2 to Ethernet 3. Wi-Fi 1 will get IP address series 192.168.88.1 
and Wi-Fi 2 will get 172.168.0.1 series. Let's test now. Wi-Fi 1 SSID name is Network 1, and Wi-Fi 2 SSID name is Network 2. Let's connect Network 1 first. You can see network IP address 192.168.88.1 start pinging as per configurations. Test if internet working as well. And here internet also working. Now test network 2. Connect network 2 and ping 172.16.0.1 IP address should ping as per network configurations. Connect network 2 and ping 172.16.0.1 IP address should ping as per network configurations. You can see 172.16.0.1 start pinging. Check internet. Ping google.com. And hey internet also working. Configuration working perfectly. Congratulations. You've successfully configured multiple DHCP servers on your Microtik router. If this video helped you don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more Microtik guide. Thanks for watching.